to welcome again to SAMI KMF and Mathematics. Um, we're going to be entering another very uh, wide area of mathematics that is most applied. I can I'd be very bold to say that most applied area of mathematics, and that is vector spaces. First part of the video, I define a vector uh, space what the vector is, and I listed about nine to 10 axioms, uh, which actually proves that the space is a vector space, and the members of the space or the set are vectors. Uh, but here, I, I give an example. I give example like polynomials, space of continuous function, I give space of matrices, GLNR, linear matrices. Uh, but it's not really simple or realistic to want to prove that the space is a vector space and I have to do these nine um, properties. It's really, really tasking. So what we learn is what we call the vector subspace, more like a subset of a vector space. So we're going to talk about vector subspace, vector subspace, vector subspace. What do we mean by a vector subspace? In a vector subspace, we take a subset we we'll take a subset of V. And that subset of V is still having, is still with respect to the binary operations of um, the binary operations of this uh, vector itself, which was plus vector addition and scalar multiplication. So, but this is a subset of V. I remember that V is a subset, a subset of itself, trivial subset of itself. Let's leave that for now. Okay, so. Um, how do we know that? Because the truth is that once you can show that this is a vector subspace, then it is a vector space. Very interesting. So all you need to do is you just need few properties to show that a particular space is a vector subspace. If you can prove that it's a vector subspace, then it is actually a vector space. Very, very interesting. And here you need just three properties, but I'm going to reduce it to two properties. So uh, how do we show that the vector subspace if and only if number one we can show yeah if we can show that um the zero vector is a member of this yeah if we can show that the zero vector is a member of this two uh if we can show closure if we can show closure but i'm going to combine that with i'm going to combine i'm going to combine this property this property this one so if we can actually show that C, um, let's say X, which is a vector, let's say X is a vector, and K, uh, Y is in H for C and K in the field. For C and K in the field. So if we can prove that this is this, for this and this, and take note where X and Y are in H then we can show that each is actually is a vector subspace. And if it's a vector subspace, then it is also uh, a vector space. But before we um, kind of, uh, I think we should, uh, we should take an example. Okay, let us take a two by two matrix. I want us to actually visualize, I want us to visualize what we are doing. So let us take a vector, let us take a, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to wipe this now, which we already know. Uh, so we're going to take an example. Uh, when I take the example on matrices, I would like you to take example on polynomials. So we just take an arbitrary polynomials and make a try, do a try on that. Um, so we are going to take um, general. We're going to take a matrix from here, um, a two by two matrix, for instance. So we're going to take a member of uh, this G N L R. So let us take um, A equals to uh, A B C D. Uh, let's take B equals to E F G and H. So we are going to take two vectors from here, and we want to actually show that these two vectors uh, will obey the principle. Here. So, but we know in this space that we have the zero vector, which is actually zero, 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 and actually zero. And, and 
we have nothing to really prove here. This is actually a member of this set. So we are taking these two. So we want to see, we want to see something, we want to check something. We, we know that the matrices are of this form. So whatever you do to the matrices, they should always have this form at the end of the day. Okay, so let us try something. So um, let us multiply, let us find um, um, C times A, and C times A is going to give us C A, is going to give us C B, is going to give us C um, C. <laughs> so um, A is going to give us C D, and um, uh, K B is going to be um, K E, and this is K F, um, this is KG and this is KH. So if we add these two, and, and I hope you already see that multiplying a scalar with this is actually giving us a matrix because this is just a, a real number. This is going to give you real numbers and it still gives you this form of, um, uh, of matrices. So this is going to be CA plus KB is going to give us, so we add these two matrices and that is going to be CA plus KE. This is going to be CB plus KF. And this is going to be KG. And this is going, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. This is going to be C um, squared plus KG. And this is going to be CD plus KH. And these are just numbers. These are just numbers. Uh, these are kind of presented by uh, I, uh, no, no. So that it doesn't look like complex number. So I can represent this by, I'm looking for the last letter I use here, H, I, J. So this is J. Um, oh, use J, I've used K. Okay, let's use L, M, N, not O, but maybe P. So you see, this is still a member of G, N, L, R. So beautiful. So we can, I have proven that this, uh, this is a vector subspace and if this is a vector subspace then this is actually a vector space how do we show that we simply show that this is in this which is very obvious and we did this we combined this and this and at the end of the day we discovered that we are still having matrices two by two matrices with real entries which is still a member of this so this is a vector space so that's how we show that that is a vector space now I will give you an assignment to prove that polynomials are also vector spaces. So you have the zero polynomial which I've already given you. So multiply this with two different constants of the field, add them together, you see, you're going to see what you're going to have as a result. Now in the part three of vector spaces, I'm going to talk about linear combinations, linear independence and linear dependence. Thank you. Bye.